Hello and welcome back to High Level Techie and this is Jitin here and today I'm going to show you something cool. So a few days ago someone left a comment on my YouTube video asking if they can book appointments on different agents calendar depending on who they choose when they have a conversation with this uh, voice AI bot. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. So we have three customer support agents and and if the user selects one of them we are going to book under their calendar. So let's go ahead and see how that is done. Okay. First of all, we have to build out our voice AI agent. You can refer to one of my previous videos on how you can do that. So I'm going to quickly run through how you can build out an AI agent. So all you have to do is go into your sub account and click on settings, and then you find voice AI agents, click on that, and then you would see all the agents that you have built out. Uh, if you haven't built out any, you can create a new one by clicking on create new agent. And once you've done that, you will see a window like this. This is where you can give the agent a name and then you give the business name here. So we are building out a voice AI agent for elite flooring company. And we have selected the voice as Samantha and our time zone is Australia, Sydney for our booking purposes and such. Then we have selected inbound call as the direction of the call, which is the only option we have right now. Then we have an initial message. Hey, you have reached Elite Flooring Company. How can I help you? This is a basic setup you have to do under agent details. And after that, you go into agent goals. This is where you set up your advanced prompt. So the prompt is pretty much the same, except we have added something new. So in here, if you expand this and look, you can see the our goal has changed. We have added a third item here, book appointment with one of the three executives and their names are Arjun, Rohit and Kiran. The user can select one of the three from this list. And when they select that, our AI voice AI agent is going to capture that data. And then based on that data, we will be booking on that specific person's calendar okay so the only thing you need to do is that mention the executives inside your prompt and then we will also mention that ask the user out of these three which executive they prefer and after that we also mention here down the line number three option executive options inform the caller we have three executive arjun rohit and kiran which whom with whom would you like to book an appointment? So this would be part of the conversation. Then the AI agent would ask you to pick an executive based on your preference. So that's what we are going to do. I will leave the whole prompt inside my GHL community. So once you add that prompt, the next thing we need to do is to update contact fields. So in the contact field, you can see I'm capturing four different items. The first one is the email, second one is the name, and the third one is the appointment date and time. All these things are explained in detail in the previous video, which I talk about how to book an appointment conversationally using voice AI agent. And then now the fourth one is capture name of the executive. So that's the na action name, capture name of the executive. And we are saving that data in a custom field. I did not create a new custom field for this, but you can absolutely create a new custom field to capture the executive's name. I was feeling a bit lazy. Sorry about that. And then I would add in this description capture the name of the executive with whom the appointment is booked for as selected by the user so something in those lines so that we can tell ai that what our intention is is to capture the name of this executive i'm giving all the three names under examples kiran rohit and arjun so these are our executives and when they select one of these people they their value will capture as it is so once you've done that, click save and that's it. And now what we have to do is create a workflow which will get activated at the end of the call. I tried multiple things. So I tried to use trigger workflow action when the name of the executive is captured, but that did not work well. So I also tried when both appointment date time and the name of the executive has been captured to trigger a workflow that did not work either. So then I have to use a trigger workflow when the call is completed to get this done. So this is the only thing that worked so far. So that's what I'm going to suggest as well. Create a workflow to trigger at the end of the call, right? 
So now this is the workflow that we are going to look at. So here is the workflow. So you can see this is a workflow and I don't need a trigger for this workflow because this will get triggered by the AI agent. Okay. So once that is done, what we need is to check for a condition. And the condition is to check if the, uh, the custom field where we are capturing the name of the executive contains the name of the executive. So in this case, if the user has selected Arjun and that custom field value contains that specific keyword, this first branch will activate it. And similarly, second branch will activate it if the name of the executive the user selected is Kiran. Similarly, the third one if the user selected Rohit and the third branch will get activated. All right. Now let's go inside and look what happens in each of the branch. So here, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can see. So then the first branch, if the name is Arjun, what we need is we are going to send an internal notification as a way for us to know that this has been triggered. You can also send that notification to Arjun, the executive, saying that, okay, someone is interested in booking a call with you. So I'm just simply sending a notification that Arjun appointment started so that I know that this branch has been activated. This is also one of my way to test out if the branches are working properly. So this is more like a error handler, if you may. Okay. So once that is done, what we are going to do is the usual thing. Uh, we capture the appointment date time on the other custom field, and we are going to convert that into a ISO format date time in this chat GPT action. And then we use that custom webhook to create the appointment by using this API call to appointments and by using the bearer token and all that. Then we put the start time as the chat GPT response one. And once that is done, we are going to check if the appointment status is confirmed. We are going to send a notification to our user. If the status is confirmed, we are going to send the notification to our executive saying that you have a new appointment. So similarly, you can see this is pretty much the same branch for each three. So when the workflow triggers at the end of the call and, and the executive name custom field has this specific keyword as mentioned by the user, this branch, a certain branch will get activated like so and it will go into their calendar. The way to set their calendar would be here if you go into custom webhook. And in here, when you see calendar ID, you can change this calendar ID to the respective executive's calendar ID. And when, for example, when Arjun is selected in this branch, we can set up Arjun's calendar ID in here and all the appointments will get booked under Arjun's calendar. Similarly, you can change the um, calendar ID on the second branch to whoever is whoever is triggering this branch. So in this case, it's triggered by Kiran. If the keyword is Kiran, then you can use Kiran's calendar ID in here, and then you can book appointment under Kiran. So now let's go and make a demo call and see how that works. Okay. So I'm going to give a call now. This call will be recorded for quality purposes. This call purposes. will be recorded for quality purposes. Hey, you have reached Elite Flooring Company. How can I help you? Hey, I'm looking to get some information regarding flooring. Sure thing. I can help you with that. Could I start by getting your name, please? Sure. Jitin, J-I-T-H-I-N. Great, Jitin. Just to make sure I've got it right, your name is spelled J-I-T-H-I-N. Is that correct? That's right, yeah. Awesome. Now, could you share your email address so we can keep in touch? Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct, yes. Perfect. We have three executives, Arjun, Rohith, and Kiran. With whom would you like to book your appointment? Um, I would like to book an appointment with Rohit 
if that's all right. Rohith, it is. When would you like to schedule your appointment? Any preferred date and time? Could we book an appointment tomorrow at 11 a.m.? I'll get that set up for you. An appointment with Rohith tomorrow at 11 a.m. I'll send you a confirmation message shortly. Anything else I can help with? Uh, no, that's all for now. Thank you so much. No? OK, didn't say anything back. But you can see I asked for Rohit's appointment. And if everything worked well, we should be able to see the Rohit branch activated. So let's go into execution log here. So you can see here, this has been added into the workflow just now on 18th of Feb, that is today. And this Rohit's branch has been activated. And then you can see that number three, chat GPT action has been activated. And when you see here, view details, you can see here 19th, 11 o'clock is the appointment date time. So that is tomorrow at 11 a.m. That's what I asked for. Today is 18th and tomorrow is 19th. So we got the correct date. And then we go inside custom web book details. And here you can see appointment status is confirmed. So which means that we have booked an appointment. So, so if I go to my email, I can probably see a bunch of email notifications saying that your appointment has been confirmed and such. So you can see this is how you can book an appointment under a certain executive's calendar depending on what they what the user specifies during the call all you have to do is capture the details into a text custom field and use that in a conditional logic inside your workflow and trigger this workflow right after the call so you can see appointment agent workflow is the name of this workflow if you go back to your agent goals and if you scroll down you can see the trigger work when call is completed is the same workflow so when the call is completed it captures all the data such as appointment date time and the, the executive name when these two values are captured we can use that inside this workflow to check which executive was selected once the system knows which is the executive they selected they can go through a different branch and use a different calendar id to book that appointment in so this is how it's done. If you have more than three executives or more than three employees who needs to be accounted for, you can simply add that many number of branches into your if else condition block. And then you can use the calendar ID belongs to those executives. So this is how simple it is to book appointments on certain executives calendar. So I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much and bye.